Hello everyone, my name is Mr. M. Today we are going to learn how to find the equation or rule that represents an arithmetic sequence. Go ahead and complete the intro activity by identifying the rule on each sequence. Make sure you pause your video while you're doing it. Come back once you're done so that you can check your answers. Alright, let's take a look. The answer to this is adding 4 and this is multiplying by negative 2. Now, let's go to the keyword. From the previous video, we learned that sequence is a set of numbers written in a specific order. Now, this time, we have two different categories, which are arithmetic and geometric. What is the difference? So basically, when you're adding or subtracting, or the rule is by adding or subtracting, then it's arithmetic. And geometric is when you're multiplying or dividing. Let's do a brief practice. Example, which sequence is arithmetic and which one is geometric from the intro activity? So that definitely this is arithmetic because we're adding. Multiplying means it's geometric. Now let's have another keyword, common difference. What is it? It is how the, the sequence progresses. What I mean by that is, take a look at the, the terms. Remember, we're adding four, and here we're adding four, we're adding four. This is what you call common difference. That is your D, so therefore here D is positive four. It's like your rule. Now let's have another keyword. Term zero. What do we mean by that? Let's do a brief recall. Remember seven is your first term or a sub one. Eleven is a sub two, second term. And fifteen and nineteen are both the third, uh, the third and the fourth term respectively. Or a sub three and a sub four respectively. Now when we say term zero, you work backward. You go to the term before the first term, which is your term zero or a sub zero. So in this case, term zero is three. How do we verify that? Remember the common difference is, the common difference of this function or the sequence is positive four. So we're adding four, right? So what if I add four from the term zero? We get seven and that is three. Or in other words, what you can do when you work backwards, you can subtract four from seven. Seven minus four is positive three. Now let's have the mild problem. Find the equation or rule that represents the arithmetic sequence below. And here is the, a simpler formula that you can use. Actually, you can find a different or uh, another formula that you, that you can uh, find in books or in the internet, but this is simpler. I'm going to show you how. Remember the sequence? We found out that the common difference of this is positive 4 since it's an arithmetic sequence, right? So, you just simply change this D to positive 4 right here next to the end. Now find the a sub 0. a sub 0 is your 0 term. And we already know that it's positive 3. So you just simply put plus 3 to this equation. And that is the rule that governs or that represents this arithmetic sequence. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and complete these two problems. Uh, be sure to pause your video while you're doing it. Come back once you're done so that you can check your answers. Welcome back. I hope you got both answers correct. If you do, you're good to go. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Be sure to click the links below inside the description box for additional resources so that you can practice more. Please take care of yourself and each other.